A fair spinner showing numbers 1 through 3 of equal area is spun twice. Find the probability of the following. So we have to find six uh, probabilities of six different scenarios given the fact that uh, the spinner is fair. So in other words, it has an equal chance of landing on either uh, one of the three numbers, numbers 1, 2, and 3. Because we're talked, uh, we're we're given that uh, there's an equal area for each of these numbers. Imagine that you have a uh, circle which is divided into three equal parts with numbers one, two, and three. Right? Equal areas mean it has the same chance of showing up when we're talking about a pencil being at one place. Right? So when the spinner stops, the pencil will show at some number. Right, so suppose this is a pencil and it's here. Right, you spin this spinner and when it stops, this pencil will land on one of these three areas. So the first one says, what is the probability of having the sum, or the sum of numbers landed on being odd? So before you do that, let's use the tree diagram. So this uh, pertains to the first attempt, spinning attempt, and this one is for the second. So obviously we're going to have numbers 1, 2, and 3 from the first try. And then for another set we can have, let's say if we spin 1, we can have combinations for the second spin 1, 2, and 3. When we spin the 2 for the first time, the second spin can be any one of the 3 again, so it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. And for the uh, for the 3 being spun, we can have 1, 2, and 3 for the second attempt, spinning attempt. So now let's talk about the probabilities. So if we're talking about each of these numbers having an equal chance of uh, being shown when the spinner stops at this pencil, then the probability of each of these numbers per every single attempt is going to be one-third, right? Because this area takes exactly one-third of the entire circle area. So area for each number takes one-third of the entire circle area, right? So the probability of uh, getting a 1, for example, is going to be one-third, right? So we're going to put one-third here. And the probability, of course, for every single attempt is one-third. One-third, 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 one-third. One third, one third. So note that every single attempt is independent of the other, right? So if you if you spin a one, then the probability of spinning a one after is going to be one third as well. However, when we're talking about combinations, let's say one and one, we will have to multiply, right? So any any pair of numbers. Fun has probability of one third times one third, one nine occurring. Okay, so that's a fact. So any pair you take, let's say one one, one two, one three, you will have to multiply each probability by the next probability there, right? So this is due to independence of attempts, right? And results. So independence of attempts and results. So each, each attempt that's spinning, each uh, spinning attempt will be independent of the other. So now let's answer these questions using the tree diagram that we created. So the sum of numbers landed on is odd. So how do we do that? So odd can be uh, the following pairs. It can be spinning a 1 first, then a 2, right? So an odd number and an even number, the sum of these will give us an odd number, right? So even and the odd. So even and odd is 1 and 2. We can have um, 2 and 1, right, by just uh, 
switching the order here. We can have um, two and three. And then of course we can have three and two. And that's it, right? So altogether there are four pairs and for each pair we know the probability is one ninth. So the probability is going to be 4, because there are 4 pairs, times 1 ninth, which is going to be 4 ninths. Okay, now second part says the sum of the numbers landed on is even. How do you get even? You get even from either adding the odd numbers or adding the even numbers. So what are the possibilities? Adding the odd numbers, we can get 1 and 1. We can get 1 and 3. Switching that, we get 3 and 1. We can get 2 and 2. We can get 3 and 3, finally, right? 3 and 3. So altogether, how many pairs is that? This is exactly 5 pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the probability is 5 times a, a pair. So that's going to be 5 ninths. Okay. Now, part C says the two numbers are different, right? So how is that possible? So 1 and 2, for example, these are different numbers. 2 and 1. Um, 1 and 3. 3 and 1. 2 and 1, we already counted. 2 and 3, we didn't count yet. 2 and 3. And finally, 3 and 2. And that's it, right? 3 and 1, we counted. 3 and 3 are the same number, so we don't count them. So how many is that? This is actually 6 pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the probability of having the numbers different in each pair will be 6 times 1 9. Right? So this should give us 6 9, which, which is 2 thirds. Okay, now part D. Given even first numbers, the second number is even. So given even number, the second number is even. Now note that since these, uh, these attempts are independent, right? the second attempt is independent of the first, it doesn't matter what you, what you spin first, right? because what you spin after will be independent of the first number that you get. You can get a 1, you can get a 2, you can get a 3. The next result, the second attempt result, will be independent of that. So given even the first number, we can, we can say, well, we, we draw 2, but then since the second attempt is independent, we can calculate from any one of these possibilities, and that will still be correct. Right? So you can disregard the fact that uh, given even first number. You can just calculate the probability of getting the second number even. Right? So from any one of these numbers, the probability of getting even is the same because there's only two possible, right? You can get one, two, and three in one single attempt. So the, the probability of getting two is just one third, right? Because two is the only even number out of the three uh, areas here. So two is just one third because that's an even. Okay, now part E, given odd first number, second number is odd. Same thing, right? It doesn't matter what the first number is. You can disregard that. What is the probability? Just says, just say, what is the probability of getting... This is the same as saying, what is the probability of getting a, an odd number in any one of the attempts? Either the first attempt, the second attempt, that doesn't matter. Any attempt, let's say you spin the spinner and you're getting the odd result. What is the probability of that? Well, the, the probability... And you can e even use this tree. That doesn't matter, right? It's going to be the same thing. So as you can see, there's one, two, and three possible. There are two odd numbers and only one even. So that means the probability is going to be twice one-third, right? So which is going to be two-thirds. Okay. Now the final question says, the product of the two numbers landed on is less than six. So let's think about it. Now we're going to have to use again... Uh, we're going to have to multiply the numbers, the possibilities, the pairs, right? So each pair we, we find, we're going to have to multiply the numbers in that pair 
to find the product and making sure that it's less than six. So let's start with the one, spinning the one first. Then we can have a one, that's possible. One and one, because one times one is less than six. One times two is less than six. One times three is less than six. Now let's start with the two possibility. Two times one is less than six. Two times two is less than six, right? That's four. Two times three is six, so we don't write that. And finally, two, uh, three, three times one is less than six. However, three times two is six, and three times three is nine, right? So that's it. So the probability of all of these pairs, of course, how many pairs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the probability is six times the individual pair probability, which is one ninth. So that's six ninths, which is two thirds. So I hope this was fun and helpful. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.